All right, so you've just watched my seven tips to starting a building firm and you now need to know what's the next step. Well, obviously licensing is most important. Not all states and countries require licensing, but in Australia, you need a license to build anything over $30,000 uh, and you need warranty and insurance. So let's start with warranty and insurance. In most states in Australia, you need a thing called homeowner's warranty, which is actually very difficult uh, to get. So if you've got any questions on getting homeowner's warranty, ask them in the questions below and I'll put you in contact with someone that I've actually put several of my old apprentices in contact with who actually got them well above what they expected to get for homeowner's warranty insurance. And essentially without homeowner's warranty insurance, you can't actually go into a legal contract with a customer. So it is important. It's a good idea for you to check in your local areas with a local um, building uh, association because sometimes joining an association is really helpful because you can get legal advice. Now, you know, we're, we're, you know, come from a trade background. Legal is kind of way over there. We're kind of pragmatic and used to doing things. What I say I'll do, I'll do. However, the legal world, and I have had a little bit of experience by taking customers through legal channels and let me tell you, stay away from that. And I think I mentioned that in my last video, but let's get on to what you actually do need. Now, if you come from a trade background, a carpenter, bricklayer, roofer, whatever it is, believe it or not, you don't need most of the tools that you have. You actually just need to be able to check the quality of the work that the subcontractors have been doing. So most important is a really good quality level and I recommend Stabila. Um, however, you could use a laser level and, and a couple other things I would use a laser measurer because I'm going to measure up a, a client's house. I would measure that up digitally. I would uh, have a, a good quality spirit level. I would have a, a good quality car, but don't go out and buy a Mercedes or a bloody BMW because when you turn up to clients, they don't like to see a silver tail builder. They need to see a working class guy who can actually get the job done. And that's really, really important. The next thing is we need accounts. So what's an account? It's a credit account or a line of credit that you can actually go to a hardware supply instead of dipping into your wallet every day, going and handing over cash or writing a check or transferring money or paying with a key card. Don't do that. If you go to a hardware supply chain, you should go to them and speak to them and say, hey, I'm going to become a builder and I expect to build X amount per year. And sometimes a good idea to exaggerate just a little bit on how much work you got coming up because it might get you a slightly better price. But be honest and be realistic because no one likes a bullshit artist. Right, so once you actually get that trade account, when you go in and purchase things, you actually would go in there and they'll put everything monthly into a, uh, an invoice so you receive it once a month and you pay it and you've usually got 30 or 60 days, depends on what you negotiate. And that's really important because it saves you going through a million receipts and giving them to an accountant or a bookkeeper it's a waste of time. The best thing about having a trade account is you can actually put in a job address and then you can start to uh, tick things off the list in your quote. So everything that you get invoiced for is actually everything that should have been allowed for in your quote. So it is important to do this and to do a profit and loss statement on every job because if you don't know how much money you're going to make or how much money you made or how much money you lost, how are you going to fix it next time? The next thing is software or technology. What should you use? Now, being a builder of 45, I didn't come up in the tech age. However, I have been involved in tech for some time. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll notice I got into the 3D world. Why did I do that? Well, number one is customers, as I mentioned before, want to see what you're going to give them. And customers in general don't understand a 2D plan. And when there's confusion in the time of a sale, it's very difficult to actually coerce the customer to sign a contract because they're not 100% sure. And you, because you're a new builder, you don't have the trust, they can't ring previous customers and so on. So yes, you will talk uh, honestly and openly with the customer and you will build trust, but to get them to hand over 500,000, a million dollars for a home, you need more than that. So I think that's a good thing to, to keep in mind. What else are you going to need? Okay, so we did talk briefly about technology and uh, I also think that you're going to need an accounting package. Something simple to use, something that preferably is mobile and there are several out there. You've got QuickBooks, MYOB, you've got Xero. Now, Xero is good because it's simple. However, 
it can be a little bit too simple. So you need to know more about it than actually looking at the screen and putting in invoices. You need to actually associate things to jobs. And you know, if you've got more questions on that, we will be doing more tutorials on accounting software as we move forwards. However, you definitely need an accounting package so that you can actually go to an accountant at the end of the year and say, hey, here are my books, uh, and they can go through and you know, potentially help you the first year out to improve the second year, ask for advice. Um, the next thing I would say uh, that is really important would be to get a bloody good accountant, not just the local guy down at the corner shop. Don't do that. You need to get an accountant that deals with builders. So no doubt if you've been in the industry, you will know multiple builders and it's a good idea to actually go to them and ask five, don't ask one, ask five of them who is a good accountant. Or if you're going to ring an accountant out of the uh, online or whatever, you need to ensure that accountant is aware of the building industry in your area because reducing tax is a very important thing you need to do uh, when you're building and making sure that when you buy a car, you've bought it under the right thing. And you know whether you buy the car yourself and you lease it to your business, that's another thing. And then also you've got your business set up. Are you gonna be a sole trader, which I don't recommend. The quicker you can get out of being a sole trader and become a company, it's very important. And there are a lot of legalities involved in uh, becoming a company. It does cost you a little bit more money up front. However, you really need to become an, a, a, a proprietary limited company to run a building company number one to offset liability but number two to actually be more professional and the next thing you need is a business name a good business name something that's got something to do with construction do you know what i mean like you know even if you use your own name constructions or you know i, I know an apprentice is called jcb carpentry uh then jcb building it doesn't matter what it is but if you can keep building in your business name that's going to help not only when people are searching you but also when you're driving past and, and you have a sign on the side of your truck uh, that is really handy as well uh, what other tips got to give you i reckon the last tip is stick to it you know you are going to do more than 40 hours a week if you don't like doing more than 40 hours a week you shouldn't be a builder guys Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, if you like the video, push like. If you dislike it, push dislike. And tell us why. What would you like to know uh, about becoming a builder? I have done it. I've been successful at it. And I'd like to share some of my knowledge with you guys. Cheers.